Hello guys, it's been a long time since I've actually done a video. So today's video is the basic insights. It's a past paper walkthrough for the subject information and communication technology. Um, this is a paper one and the exam board is Cambridge. The code for this paper is 0417 slash 12. It's the October, November 2023 series and it's for one hour, 30 minutes. Um, hopefully I know these, uh, concepts will be uh, asked for you guys in your exams so i know many of you guys have this uh, paper coming up for exams so hopefully this video has helped you all to understand these type of concepts if you guys have enjoyed the video please do a like share and subscribe channel it really helps a lot and yeah let's start with the video all right so what we have to do here is we have to um answer all the questions okay we're just gonna push it that side okay what we're gonna do is you're gonna answer all the questions you have to use a black or dark blue pen. Remember to bring a black pen in your exam. You're going to use that. Write your name, center number, and candidate number. Do write those things. Write your answer to each question in the space provided. You may use HP pencil for any diagrams. The total mark for this paper is 80. Okay. Um, um, let's start with the first question. All right. So the first question is tick one external device. So out of these four choices, we have to choose one which has, a, which is an external device. A sound card is more of an input, so it's not an external, sorry, it's more of an inside device, um, internal device. Pen drive is an external device, that's what you use externally. A motherboard, this is inside a laptop. A ROM is also inside a laptop, in this case, laptop or desktop. I'm assuming, yeah, it's in, it's in both. But... Out of all of this, sound card, motherboard, and ROM, they're all internal devices. Whereas pen drive is something that you use. It's like how you guys use the Apple Pencil. That's more of an external device, but not an internal device. So in this case, it's going to be pen drive. Okay, tick within the box. Now, next question is a computer system uses both analog and digital data. Explain what is meant by these type of data. Analog data. So now analog data, for example, is more like... Um, how do you say it? to describe it for one mark you can mention that it's more of a continuous data okay it's more of a continuous data you can also mention that it has any values it has some certain values within range digital data is more of discrete data okay it's more of discrete data um, you can also mention that it's form of like binary data between zeros and ones Okay, binary digits, binary values. Digital data is processed in a computer system. Sometimes digital, digital data needs to be converted to analog data. Explain why digital data may be may need to be converted to analog data. Now, this is one of the reasons is because humans can only understand analog data. Computers understand zeros and ones. So, in order that could be one of the reasons why they have to con uh, convert it. But in this case, what we're going to do is the reason why we are converting the digital data into analog data is because it's processed in the commu in the computer system. So you can mention that it has to be sent to an actuator or it has to be to control an external device. So to control an external device okay we're going to mention that for one mark okay let's move on to the next question okay next question use the most appropriate phrase from the list to complete the sentences your answers must be different analog data is given to you some options a motor is used to okay a motor is used to here in this case is to open the windows is to open the windows in a greenhouse is to open a windows in the greenhouse a dac output okay digital analog converter is used for analog data hopefully that's right analog data a sensor is used to of course in this options, a sensor sensor is something that detects something. So it's to measure. In this case, it's to measure acidity levels in a river. To measure 
acidity levels in a river. I'm just going to use the eraser tool here. Put that in capital. Okay, just do write in caps. Very important. Open. Measure acidity levels in a river. Okay. In a river. Okay, that's for three marks total. Next question. Identify three different network communication devices and describe what each one does. So three network communication device. What we know is we know of the router, so that could be device one. And one of the description for one mark here is a router is used to it allows we can mention that it allows a LAN. Okay, it allows a LAN to be connected to be connected to the internet to be connected to the internet that's one of the purposes of a router okay you can mention the other purposes is that it allows data packets to be sent to the LAN or the VAN in this case wide area network or local area network you can mention that the device too could be the hub now the hub we can mention the description about hub is it's used to connect computers or let's say devices so that data can be broadcasted to different devices it kind of like ex expands a local area network in this case so what we can mention in this case is that it connects computers. It connects computers so data can be broadcasted or broadcast to all devices, to all devices. And it kind of like expands a, uh, yeah, it kind of like expands um, a local area network in this case expands a local area network device 3 could be a bridge the description for this is that it connects two lands together it connects two lands together of the same protocol of the same protocol together. You can also mention that a bridge creates a single LAN from separate parts. Um, another device you can mention here in this case is switch. Now a switch is used to connect computers together to form a LAN or, or you can mention that it allows data to be sent in individual devices. Okay. Your next question is, okay, now this is related to databases. So hopefully that's another topic that you guys have. Teacher is creating a database. Teacher types the details of each book in a database. You have some form of information here in the table. Identify and describe a validation check based on the data shown in the database table, which could be applied to the data as it is entered into each of those fields. Each validation check must be different. So for a book number, what we're gonna use is since book numbers and numerical values here in this case, we're gonna be using a length check or you can mention a character check or ran check or a presence check. So in this case, we're just gonna mention a length check, okay? Now why I mentioned that length check, length check is because each data item, as you can see that there are four digits in each of these examples. So you're going to say that each data, okay, each data item must be exactly, must be exactly four characters long, four characters long, okay? Now date acquired. Now you can see the table for date acquired here. What we're going to use is you can use a format check since we have to format the date or you can use a range check again. So in this case, we're just going to be using a uh, we're going to be using a format check since that's the most appropriate to use here. It has to be in this form as one with slashes, and it should be in all that same format. So what we're going to write here is that the first two numbers, right? The first two numbers followed, right? Followed by a slash. Followed by slash, then next to two numbers followed next to two numbers okay followed by a slash followed by a slash then four numbers okay as you have seen in the table 
okay and it should be in this format okay you can mention that this is what you can see in your computers as well ISBN okay ISBN numbers you can see that what do we use here we can use a check digit okay or you can use a character check that the data must be an integer but in this case we're going to be using a check digit okay check digit is because the number is checked by calculation of all the separate numbers okay that could be the reason why we use that the number is checked by calculation is checked by calculation of all the separate numbers of all the separate numbers okay you can mention a character check that the data must be an integer okay whole numbers in this case but um, yeah integer values are fine okay so for question number five a group of pupils is planning to create a newsletter for a history project the group can either use a smartphone or a phablet computer explain what is meant by a phablet computer so now this is a new terminology, the phablet, the phablet computer. It's more like a, let's say, it's more like a mixture between a smartphone and a tablet hybrid. So that's something that you guys can mention there. Um, in that case, you can mention that it's more of a smartphone, 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 and tablet hybrid okay and you can mention that it has it's like a device that has the features of both the smartphone and tablet computer you can mention that and you can also mention that the device the size of the device the device size is in between is in between a smartphone and a tablet discuss the advantages and disadvantages of using a phablet computer rather than a smartphone for this project so um, this question is for a total of six marks so so what we have to mention is let's mention the advantages first so the advantages of a of using a fabric computer rather than a smartphone for this project. Um, for six marks, you're just going to list three advantages and three disadvantages. Okay, so that's uh, keep it spread out like that. So you can mention that a phablet, okay, that a phablet has a larger screen, has a larger screen, okay, has a larger screen size, so it is easier to read the text it's easier to read the text or you can mention it's easier to navigate or click on the icons and edit certain types of text that's some other answers you guys can write then you can write that it has a better control a better control over the layout over the layout of the screen okay and you can also mention that it's easier to connect devices on a phablet. Easier to connect devices on a onto a phablet. Okay, onto a phablet. Now, some of the disadvantages that you have to mention of a phablet computer is that um, it's less portable than a smartphone. Now, the reason why this is less po it's less portable than a smartphone is because its the size is between um, smartphone and a tablet computer. So that's why it's more of a it's like a mixture of both. Like we said, it's like a hybrid between a smartphone and a tablet. So the size would be much more bigger than a smartphone itself. That's why it would be less portable than a smartphone. Okay. then it's more difficult it's more difficult to record audio messages to record audio messages um let's say audio messages 
it's more difficult to record audio messages onto due to its size. And um, you can mention that if cameras are to be used, okay, if cameras are to be used, um, you can mention then it's easier with a smartphone, like how everybody uses it, then it's easier, then it's easier, okay, to use a camera, to use a camera with a smartphone with a smartphone okay